How's it going guys? Welcome to Ambrose Landscape YouTube channel. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my DIY sifter. I'm having to redo this footage. I actually recorded this video yesterday, but the camera was extremely shaky, probably like it is now. The audio was pretty horrible. So uh, in the video, if you see me wearing a different outfit, that's because this is a different day. So I'm going to turn the camera around. I'm going to show you guys real quick my DIY sifter and kind of how I built it and a little bit of background. And then I will get to the video. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys. So this is the DIY sifter. Now, the reason why this thing looks completely haggard is because I actually built this in the beginning of the year. And then what happened was after pretty much using it and abusing it from uh, sifting quite a lot of dirt, um, I had to, the other day, I finally put it back together and just kind of, instead of taking a lot of time, I, you can tell I have a Ren 2x4 and, and all this other weird stuff. But basically, this wood was built with some scrap left over from when I built my shop as well as when I built my house. And so that's the reason why it doesn't look all party, but I will show you guys a couple of videos of what it looked like brand new. Uh, but to kind of go over all the things, like I said, uh, basically just scrap wood, I would recommend using screws, not nails. Uh, that way, if you need to replace something, you can easily replace it right off the bat. And I just used nails just because I was kind of in a rush, just threw my nail gun on there and it was a lot faster. So as you guys can see, I got this metal grate right here. I got some pretty heavy duty stuff. I believe this is 14 gauge. I could be wrong about that, but I believe it's somewhere around there. I got it down at a local like feed and seed. And so what I did was if you're dealing with a lot of big, big rocks, um, kind of like these guys right here, then I would go with something like that. If you're doing pretty fine stuff, then you don't typically need probably this thick, but I doubled it up. And then what I did to get even a finer, uh, cleaner soil, I put this kind of chicken wire on so you can tell that only um, the fine stuff can really go through. And here's the end result. Uh, a lot of small rocks. You can see how small some of these pebbles are. Um, pretty good size. So you got the big rocks, the small rocks. I only did just a couple loads just to basically do the front yard. And then what I did was all my rocks, I placed them back here, but you can't see it because it's all overgrown because that was the beginning of the year. Um, some of the things I would definitely recommend is make sure that you have um, the height where it drops off pretty high because if it goes all the way level to the ground then it starts to kind of build up so be sure if you can go higher go higher i built this based on the height of what my bucket can reach at so what i did was i placed my bucket as high as i could and then kind of went off those dimensions i would go a little bit shorter because when my bucket fills up it actually can't completely lift up over that height so I would go a little bit lower I would recommend definitely getting a very thick front board right here because what I do is I get my bucket and I go and shake that because when things start to build up um, getting the bucket shaking that it will kind of you know loosen up a little bit and kind of helps any kind of clog that starts to build up whatever you want to say um, the soil has been fairly dry just because we are now going into fall and so this was fairly dry so it's not clogging up as bad but when you start getting into the weeds and some really thick, um, soggy soil, I guess you could say, uh, that's where you may want to watch out for the fine stuff. But anyways, here's the, um, let me turn up my, so this is the final result, very fine stuff. Maybe a couple rocks will kind of escape in, nothing big. One thing I would also recommend is uh, let me turn this down. One thing I would also recommend is placing some kind of either you can, I've seen some guys, they kind of post the main post, they place them in the ground or a little bit extra support. Cause you can see when I go in with my bucket to scoop it out, it kind of pushes the sides out just a little bit. So that's another thing I would definitely recommend. Like I said, this is, it's very simple. I basically just watched a few other YouTube videos and kind of made my own design based off what I've saw and kind of seen on Google, but this is basically it. So, so other than that guys, that's basically it. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the footage that I got yesterday, as well as footage from earlier this year of me using it. And I did get a brand new drone. So I'm really excited about that. So there will be a little bit of drone footage and that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys next time.
All right guys, so we're here in the front yard. So basically I spent about an hour or so grading the whole entire front yard. So basically this looked like field grass looked okay. And, uh, but like I said, with all the divots and stuff like that from the construction of the house, uh, I, I went ahead and smoothed it out just because like I said, the walker doesn't like the rough terrain stuff. Plus I wanted a nice smooth lawn just because there was a couple of dips and stuff where if you were walking and the grass was too tall, you can easily twist your ankle. So I wanted to do that too. But as you guys can see, went ahead and smoothed it all out, but there's still a couple like little divots and stuff. So the grass is fairly dry. We've gotten a little bit of rain recently. So it worked out because if it was too soft, the tractor would be scraping up a lot more than what I wanted. So I was basically just scraping that top layer of dirt, kind of smoothing it out. And then like I said, we're gonna go ahead and dump whatever's in the truck. And of course we'll keep hauling more just to fill this in as well as probably add a little bit of topsoil on top of it, but mostly just to fill in all those divots and stuff. So the reason why I'm throwing it in the truck was because if I were to haul it um, bucket load at a time from the back to the front, it would just take forever. So just, you know, got it on trucks, so might as well use it. So that's what we're doing. So throwing all the dirt in the back of the truck, dump it and then smooth it all out. So let's dump this out, smooth the first little layer of it, a layer of it. And then, um, We'll probably call it good after that. I've been working since this morning, so let's go ahead and get it started, guys. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and call it a day. So I, I'm gonna do a couple more passes. As you guys can see, I've already taken quite a bit of the, uh, let me make sure my mic's on. Yep, it, it is on. So anyways, uh, so we're gonna take a couple more passes over this, kind of smooth it all out. But you can see that so far it's, it's looking really good. And then we'll take a light rake over it, throw some seed down there, and then throw a little bit more topsoil on top. And it seems to work out. Down there we got a little bit more soothing out to do. Um, but other than that, that looks pretty good. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I was looking up for my drone. I was like, where the heck is it? Because I had it over here. And the next thing I know, it's hovering right, literally right above my um, my house on the roof because I took it off right down there on the concrete, but it got mixed up for something. So I'm glad I saw that. Otherwise it would have landed up there and that would have been really fun. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this. I've been meaning to get this DIY sifter, screener, whatever you guys want to call it out for quite a while. And as you guys can see, worked pretty good. A lot of the wood that I used, the reason why I used wood was because it was a lot of leftover. Basically, I put that together with leftover wood I had from the house and the shop. Um, so that's the main reason why I would recommend using screws, not nails. Uh, the screws will hold it together a lot more. And then that way, if you need to replace a board, it's a lot easier with the screw than the nail, which I had to replace a couple boards. That's why it's so, that's why it looks like crap compared to when I first came out. And then other than that, it's been doing pretty good. So 
hopefully you guys enjoyed this video be sure to like subscribe and leave comments if you guys have any questions about that if you guys want me to go into more detail or do more work around the house this winter with things finally calming down i'll be putting the irrigation system in at least getting the main lines in as well as i still have this whole side oh, where's my hand this whole side to smooth out as well so if you guys i already said what i need to say see you guys next time bye